okay. So I'm still trying to print a bunch of things before Fragapalooza. And I tried to start a print just before starting this stream. And for whatever reason, when I booted up Persona 3 Reload, it kind of made my printer firmware crash and it notified me. Like, oh, it's encountered a crash. This could be happening because like your CPU's overload on the host machine or something or other, or whatever the heck. <laughs> and uh, whatever the heck kind of reason, something with the host machine has caused the printer to overload. And so it crashed, I had to restart it. And I forgot that on restarting it, it turns on all the LED lights at maximum brightness. And once it starts printing, which I gave it the order a little while back, unless I cancel the print and have it start from the beginning again and like rehome all its accesses, that brightness is basically stuck the way that is because when it's in the middle of a process and thinking like printing and i give it another command it's oh my goodness that um that's not a great sound there and there's something else that i forgot i actually do need to cancel that print yikes never mind to that i can turn the brightness down now is what i can do anyway um what do you mean that that's an invalid value no, 210. Oh, bear with me here. Bear with me, uno momento. And then the lights. Now that's not thinking about other things. I can turn them down. Turn red down to 10 first. And then green down to 10. The signal doesn't always reach the end of the LED strip. So I usually tell each of them 10. Then 11. Yeah, there we go. Then 10. And then, yeah, it seems like it's all turned down. I forgot that I was playing around with my Z height, which is like the difference between like where the probe touches the bed and where the nozzle is compared to that, because it can know exactly what X axis and Y axis it has, because it moves the nozzle to the left or the tool head to the left, hits a clicker, it moves the bed all the way to the back and hits a clicker. But the nozzle that actually touches the print bed, you can't exactly have a probe that goes lower than that that's permanently attached, since it'll get in the way of the print when you're printing. So it grabs that little white probe from the white, right side, clicks it down, and then takes it off and puts it back. But it doesn't know the distance between the tool head and the nozzle. And I forgot I had it set to temporarily be a decent bit higher as I was trying to find the right height. And on restarting, it kind of resets that. So I heard the nozzle scraping against the plate as it was trying to print. And that's not a, that's not a good thing. That is not a very good thing to happen at all. I did some grinding since the last time, the irritating like catchy song. I wrapped up the stuff that I was doing in Tartarus. I gained two levels, I'm level 26 now. And then I backed out so that I could just go do the Elizabeth drink quest thing or Bob. And I collected all the drinks and I can give those to her whenever. And there's something else I was gonna mention now, I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, apparently one of the things she wanted for one of her requests was a drink from the school nurse. And I know I can only go there after visiting Tartarus, so normally I'd be able to today. But I went and visited Tartarus on Saturday. And Sunday there's no school, so I don't think I can go in there. So I might just have to do that request a decent bit later. And I might have screwed myself. So yeah, perfect for those of you who've been dreaming of growing a lush garden at home. It's great for beginners too. First up, we have the Ambronian Sprout. You, you get two. These little gems will grow into the sweetest onions you've ever tasted. At first I was like, what's an Amronian? Oh wait, there's more. This buff potato sprouts too. Guess how many? Three. I have some pretty buff potatoes in my backyard, but they're not potatoes above ground. They're tomatoes above ground because I grafted them together and it's super cool and they are going crazy. Sure, I'll take it. I'll grab one here. Next time we'll be introducing office snacks that don't miss it. That's all for today. We're all sold out. See you next time. Let me really quickly just tell it to push some filament through just to prime it and unclog anything that I might have clogged by having it try to extrude filament while it couldn't, like, do anything because it was pressing against the bed. Actually, it looks like filament's coming out. It might be okay. I'll purge some anyway. And I definitely clogged it. Oh, no! Okay, filament's coming through now. Okay, well, I'll try. I grabbed the plastic while it was still goopy. I mean, it's still pretty melty. It's pretty hot, but like very small surface area, so it's not a super big deal. It's still a little bit hot. Oi. Computer.
the thing that I was trying to get you to make, how about you try that again? I'm still trying to get a bunch of stuff printed for Frag. I have been printing a whole lot of these dragons. If I go to only camera, well, I forgot I had it set up like this because I was checking on the 3D prints remotely by doing remote desktop here, like this. I've been 3D printing a whole bunch of dragons to have as prizes at Fragapalooza. And now I'm starting to print like some small things for fun, which are like little Minecraft axolotls and stuff. And that's what I'm trying to print. Another one of right now, another one of these pinkish ones is what I'm currently trying to do. And that should just take 50 minutes. It's not super long. So I just printed the two blue ones and then one pink one. And I was like, well, I was about to start stream. I can have it print another pink one anyway. I was like, sure, let's just go for it. Let's just have it print another pink one. What the heck do I want to do? Um, hold on, hold on. I should probably go duplicate a skill card. I got a butt ton of skill cards when I was exploring around there. Let me tell you, I got a whole bunch of them. And after I got Arcana Burst, I got some new higher level skill cards. So there's probably some pretty nice things here, especially in passive, like the boost to the different things. Here, let's get a wind boost, sure. Because maybe I'll want that eventually if I get a persona that really wants that kind of stuff. Also, unlike the beginning of last stream, I'm going to actually be trying to seriously, seriously get stuff done in this game this time. Because there is less than one week before Fragapalooza. I don't know how much time I'm going to have for stream before that point. I'll have a decent bit this weekend, but I have some family visiting. And I am also going to have to do like all the setup, like all the packing up and everything for Fragapalooza and finalizing stuff for that. So I'm gonna be kind of busy. So I'm just gonna kind of wedge in whatever time I can here and actually try to make serious progress like was my goal last time that I kind of failed at. Mr. Kuhn is telling us about the elementary school dorm. Speaking of what you could extend, lives in the school dorms too, does he? Yep, that's right. Lives in the same dorm as me, Yukutan, and the others. What? It's okay for boys and girls to stay in the same dorm? Um, actually, it's usually not, but our dorm has some special circumstances. I just go like that, right, Harmonia? Yeah, totally. Um, sure. Let's go this way. There's... Alright, I already have that. I don't know why it's showing me the three lines. Here, Stull. Um, but yeah. Hello, hello, Delta Thingy. Glad to be here early. Been a very mixed night for you, so this stream will be a good way to lax. Also, what are you currently 3D printing? A Minecraft Axel model. Let me just... Gravity. So, before it starts printing, there will be... You can't even see it. Oh, you can see a little bit of pink now. A little bit of drippy, goopy that I don't want getting in the print, so... I've been printing a whole bunch of dragons. I was just showing here a second ago how my table is now covered in dragons that I want to give away as prizes from Craig. So, and I'll still print more so that people have, like, a whole bunch of choices. But lately, I've been printing, like, some smaller things to potentially be giving away as well, like Minecraft axolotls. So, that's what's the next one up here. And I am going to have to tear off some supports later, considering the thin things can't really print in midair. So I have to have it print like supports. So that's going to be really, really fun for me to break off later without actually breaking off the thing that I want to stay on. So that'll be fun, fun in the sun, but that's a problem for future me. So I've been printing a whole bunch of those tonight. I printed a dragon this morning as I went to work, and now I'm printing axolotls. I'll probably print some more dragons. And I have, like, several more on my desk in front of me, too. Like... My tables are covered in these things now. Like, I've had this machine running more often than not, and I was like, eh, well, I was just printing a bunch of things. Let's just keep on printing while I'm streaming. So I'll print that for now. It'll take, like, 50 minutes, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll do another dragon. But that won't finish the stream because those take, like, six hours. Um, I did a whole bunch of Persona Fusions. You already completed it. Here, take this as your reward. Twilight Fragment. And then... I thought I... I thought I got a notification that said I have all the drinks now. Unless I didn't save well. when I was on my laptop and doing this, Good day. and it or it didn't back up to the cloud save for that one. Leaving, Wait, come fetch me as soon as the sun is out. I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. I'm gonna be honest. Did you visit a water die station? Uh, crap! I gotta go get drinks Very again. Well. I could have sworn I did this, but I guess not. Uh, the places that I had to go though when it notified me, oh, I think I have all the things now. We're here. And grab. No, I have the things. I have one of each of these. Come to think of it, Elizabeth, we give our drinks for her. I think I have everything now. I should bring them to her before I forget. Okay, it did save. 
then is this just like top 10 lies in video game history saying I think I have everything now? Because I clearly don't. Also, this is not the way to fast travel out. Oh my goodness, this game is so weird sometimes. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me we'll check here. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear that it's been a kind of mixed night. Good day. There, Delta. Delta thingy. I do hope that it's been more positive than negative. Are you accepting but, a request? Um Yeah, I I sure don't have everything. It says in progress, not done. Very well. Even though she has like, I'm pretty sure that's a done marker above her head, right? Am I losing my mind? Good day. I'm so. Oh, it's here. Hand over the drinks. I've been waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> beers have gathered all the different drinks. May I collect them from you now? Sure. Oh my. Oh my. There are this many. It'd be such a waste to simply drink them. Perhaps tonight I will hold the ritual known as the after work drink performed by laborers. In any case, the request is now complete. Please take this as your reward. Media. Okay. Apparently, you want to go do a thing? I've my. Been for... I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? But yeah, it's awesome you get a 3D printer, but you hate the sound the plastic makes when it rubs against itself. It's one of the only sounds that you're sensitive to. Oh, not particularly sound sensitive, which is weird considering autism, but that one sound makes you fully shut down for a minute. Oh, geez. Just get something that prints in. What other th things are there printers that print in? Would resin make a different sound, I wonder? There's like concrete 3D printers that exist now that probably cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> People are like printing foundations for buildings with. Just get one of those, easy. The easy solution there. And it's free to print whatever you want out of concrete. Glowing stairs that pose an obstacle to those who dare to reach another floor. So, ah, yes, exactly. This is an escalator, a simple yes. contraption at first glance. But one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. To all customers, for your own safety and the safety of others, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalators. Thank you. Oh my. It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. Let's just jump right into it. Where is it? When can I jump in? Why, it's right over here. It's probably a dungeon. There, in the center of this fenced off area, it's marked with eye catching signs proclaiming in bold print do not enter. Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. This is a crafty snare, one that defies the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high-level psychological tactics. Human authorities truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Let us carry on. Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. <laughs> also, as the buttons on screen show, I am playing with my PlayStation controller again rather than my Xbox. Oh, this and it's what I was fragrance. grinding with in Tartarus. I was initially just grinding with keyboard controls and using my laptop trackpad. Whoa. But man, you it is so darn near impossible to turn the camera with a laptop trackpad, I so like, I stopped. I sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. So, how about it? Wanna buy some? I swear my takoyaki's so good it'll make your and, jaw drop. And wait, what? Funky sense of spell to go with your funky sense of style. Your secret ingredient. Okay. So at first I was like, how did this lead into this sentence? Is what I was warning for a hot second, but I don't think I was paying enough attention during that one Is line. So scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? Ah, yes. I imagine that would warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. Prepare to die. Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. Uh, it's not that expensive. How much is she, is she holding? No need to consult me. My curiosity far exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. 
Well, well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. Thanks. Here you go. And come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin. There's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. Uh, how's your jaw? It has yet to even unhinge. But for the better, I suppose. There are many other delicacies I must try. It wouldn't do to lose my jaw before sampling each and every one of them. There appear to be several dining establishments around here. We must simply visit all of them. My first priority is to go to something called a net cafe, where one may use something called a soda fountain. This apparatus allows for an infinite the apparatus that I very, very, very rarely solutions. use. What is going on in my throat? Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across I don't my really tongue. drink carbonated things. I'll drink something carbonated like a few times a year. My, oh my. Things like soda fountains oh, I intriguing. very rarely interact with. We Am I do not feeling very well? Every dining option in this area. Oh dear, is something the matter? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. Jeez. In any of it, I could never I do that in real life. Your delightful company. I shall certainly savor this experience. If you don't mind, I'd very much appreciate it if you were to escort me again sometime. I'd probably die if I try that in real life. I return to the Velvet Room with Elizabeth. I mean, in front of the Velvet Room, but like, can I redeem it now really quickly? When yeah, there we go. Seems to complete a request for a moment, please. While I check, you have to check. We just did it. Thank you for showing me around to Watson Station. Fascinating rides, and dangerous traps. Of course, the Courtney Copley of Curious Cuisine. The way people went about their lives there is quite different from those we saw previously. Oh, yeah, and that at Paulina Mall, so I might not forget what we saw. I'd like to recreate some of the dishes <laughs> we sampled. First, I must hunt for our ingredients. This will be so much fun. Please take this to your award. Book of the Ancients. You can now fuse. Be gone! Thought! The one who measures time. Um, Please prevail in the Big Eater Challenge. Is that a thing I can do right now? And yeah, I can get a chocolate there 3D printer. That's the way to go. Yeah, I assume resident will make a different sound since it's made of something different. I would assume so. Maybe I'll have to ask my cousin at some point since I know that like he's printed in resin before. I'm assuming it'll make a more dull sound since it's smooth as opposed to the sharp sound that the rough plastic makes. I mean, plastic isn't really that rough when it's melted and goopy and stuff. The rougher sounds would probably just be from like the motors grouping. Navigate the tool head around, I would imagine. Uh, what was I about to do? I was about to go here and see if the challenge is a thing that I can do. I don't actually know how it works in this game, honestly. Check what can be done here. Mystery burger. Like, it just says there's the mystery burger. There isn't the challenge. So I I don't know what the heck. Mm -hmm. Also, what personas do I have right now anyway? After all my dicking around in Tartarus. Okay, well, I do have a hermit one. So, I can probably go hang out with, I have no idea what her name is, I, I wouldn't remember. Whoever the online one is, I guess I didn't need to walk in here, I can just fast travel to my room. Um, yeah, my room, I don't think there's anything else that I needed to do. It's just, yeah. And I still have a whole bunch of tabs open from the last time I streamed, it looks like, but I want to play Innocent Sin online with me. Feels if we can grow closer things to the hermit persona, allow me, I feel like I might grow closer to my suit. Sure. Wait, what are we at? We're at six, so we'll go from six to seven. Okay, spend time playing online. I might also move that camera a little bit. Like that angle or something. And then up. Uh, oh, you don't need to auto advance when there's a, when it's not even voiced here. Ah, I'm like trying to scooch in. I keep on running my chair over my, over my cables, I'm pulling on my headphones. As a Tatsuya nowadays, I just log on to MMOs with Bedhead and all like today, lol. But when I was little, people said I was real cutie. Guess I missed my chance, right? Nobody thinks I'm hot anymore. Do men only want younger women? Be honest. Okay, it is six to seven. Hold on. What tab was this? Oh, I need to reload all the tabs. That's the devil one. This one, second try. So, apparently, well, yeah, is what I gotta say. 
Not so. Everyone knows it, but it still sucks to hear for real ores. Fair is fair, though. I tend to like them on the younger side myself, lol. What? I'm innocent. Whoa, I don't like where this is going. My advocate's a cower. Is, what's the canonical age of the playable character in this game? I know that you're just a high school student, but uh... By the way, am I making this sense? I hope so, because I teach composition. Okay, I'll be calm. I'll compose my shit carefully for you. Oh, my co-worker's really pissing me off. I'm trying to avoid her. We used to teach the same grade and we were together all the time. It's been a while, but that kind of thing sticks with you, you know? In way she said she needed some advice, but then she just started bragging. Some student asked her out, and guy she doesn't like proposed to her. What? I'm not jealous. It's just so freaking annoying. OMG. I hate skanky hoes like her. Just give the puppy dog eyes, and guys will do whatever. She even stuffs her bra. This is not where I thought this conversation was gonna go. GM, what? <laughs> I'm afraid you know too much now, Tatsuya. You must die. But that's right. She's got fake tits. Ah, uh, XD. Okay, for real, I'll keep this between you and me, okay? I don't even know who this person is, so, like, it's not like it matters. Who's be enjoying herself? I swear, OMG, I saw Miss K running in late one time, right? And, uh, pads fell down. It looked like she had four. They're fake for sure. My school is full of teachers like that. Man, Tatsuya, talking to you is better than getting a massage? What? You're playing online is now an important part of my days off. <laughs> it seems like talking to me. I feel like we're growing closer. I can switch back to the stream manager now. <laughs> okay. Wow, we're becoming such good friends. Yeah, we we're supposed to be fighting demons from hell, right? But after what I just said, I might go to hell in way. Well, I rented some DVDs, so later, Tazia. Thanks for chatting. Man, I remember the days of renting DVDs. I remember my local blockbuster. I decided to log out as well. I remember that. Different times. I remember going and renting PlayStation 2 games. All right, now what the heck do I want to do even? Yeah, also a better reference sound that shuts you off, like you were saying. If you ever heard one of those, ever had one of those lenticular images and scratch them against with your nails, I'm not sure what they are. That's the god awful sound we're talking about. Three printed plastic can make the same sound. Okay, I'm not quite familiar with it myself. Um, where the heck is everybody? Everyone just dipped out. No one likes me anymore. It's a meal today. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, that's the first I have heard of it. I mean, the sound can be annoying for me, but from like a different perspective. For me, it could be annoying because with especially lately when i want to get like so many dragons done for frag i really like letting it run and then just leaving it be and then coming back to it later like when i wake up in the morning and set the print something and come back from work and it's done or right before i'm going to bed <laughs> and i and i'm like well i'll just let that run through the night because it's not quite the same room it's basically attached but my bed is right over there in the darkness ignore the coat hanger being right there in the hallway because there's bathroom renovations going on right now and i need to move stuff around not to apply the coat hangers in the bathroom but i need to put stuff like around here anyway it's a mess it doesn't matter uh but ben's right over there so like i oh and there's like my first degree black belt boards from when i was 12 years old that needed to find a place too again that's another thing that wasn't in the washroom but there's basement renovations in general so it needed to come out of there <laughs> Basement and washroom renovations. Everything's being torn up, so things are a mess over there. But anyway, in the darkness, it's my bed. And so, when I'm right over there, and the printer's right over here, and those fans are blaring all night, it, uh, it can be, it can make it a little bit more difficult to sleep. I've gotten kind of used to it now. The night before last night, I was really struggling to sleep, and I feel like the printer was definitely a factor in that. Last night, I slept pretty all right. I didn't get that many hours of sleep because it was the last Fragapalooza meeting of... Well, I shouldn't say of the year. There will probably be one late this year, but... The last Fragapalooza meeting before the event itself for the year. Just kind of finalizing things. And because it was the final one, it went a little bit over time. And then I remembered that I needed to fill some pots with dirt to take into work to transplant some plants that I have on my desk. So I went out and did that in, like, pitch black darkness with dirt that I had in the backyard. Then <laughs> went to bed shortly after, and so... Didn't get the most full of sleep. I slept a whole lot better. <laughs> and uh, the printer didn't bother me too much. But some nights it does. And some nights I'll just like cover my ears with like a whole bunch of pillows and blankets and stuff to try and drown out the fans. And sometimes I can get it good enough. 
that I don't hear the motors anymore of it moving around, but I still hear the gentle hum of the fans. And that's as good as I can do. It's just drowning out the motors. But yeah, and hello, hello, Snow Penguin. How's it going? What we printed, now we're printing Minecraft axolotls. Is what we be printing like this. This has supports on it. Like I need to start tearing those off. I haven't gotten the chance to yet because those parts can't, if it focuses, it's not gonna focus because those parts can't exactly print in midair. So this will be really, really fun to tear off later. But like the legs move and stuff, you can move that around. The tail moves back and forth. You can move the head up and down a little bit, not a whole lot. So I printed a couple blue ones here. I'm printing some pink ones now and I'll have them around my desk. But like my desk up frag is gonna get like so dang covered in dragons. Like it's gonna be insane. I already have 12 here. <laughs> so that's one for all top three finishers of all three Smash tournaments. The free for all, because it's three people. The singles, because it's three people. And the doubles, because top three, each one of those positions is two people. So that's six, so 12. So now I have 12 dragons. But I want to make more so that people have more choices. So that like third place finisher of the final tournament isn't just stuck with like a color that they don't like or something like that. So I'll print more of those, but I'm printing like some other small fun things for now. And I'll print some Mario mushrooms and stuff at some point. Yeah, I've been working a little bit on them. Haven't, uh, haven't started gluing the white dots to them yet. But like, here's an in-progress Mario mushroom. And they're containers, so they're kind of fun. And I have some white dots in here that I just need to... Wow, that I just need to glue on to make these actual one-up mushrooms like that. But, whoa, there it goes. Yeah. So, where the heck did there is? So, nothing's... Stuff is in progress here. Could be the case. Wow. If I can actually close these containers again, that would that would be great. There we go. So yeah, I'm I'm making stuff. Put that back there. But yeah, and hello, Logus. But how's it going today? What's up? Not much. As I texted you earlier, I was able to harvest the first okra from the plants that were grown from seeds that you gave me. But yeah. So cool. Just relax before bed. Nice, nice. Um, Axolotl, your time has come to burn. You invoke the ancient power that you may return. What? <laughs> also, an Axolotl, like, this is one of the things I printed for you, Guzma, although I didn't have, like, any of these filaments yet, because I only bought these, like, a week ago. These ones. And I kind of, I kind of like these colors. Kind of nice. Wow. Place that back down there. But yeah. And I literally just delivered today for you, too. Wait. Oh, what delivered? And... I came in today and read all the way through it in one sitting. Wait, what did I miss? As I was coming to invoke the ancient power that you may return. Whatever that's a reference to is the case. And yeah, it is amazing. I only tried it for the first time when I was down in Texas and Louisiana a couple months ago. And I actually really liked it. That was the first time that I ever tried okra. And I'd been growing okra since before that point because that Guzma nerd brought me seeds late last summer. So I had this massive okra plant. <laughs> I have a few. I have a few in my backyard that are looking... One of them's looking pretty good and it's developing a bunch of okra. The other two are looking a little bit sad and iffy and like they're constantly trying to recover. But the one that I have on my desk at work, like, oh my god, it is insane. I can grab the pictures that I've sent to that Guzman nerd earlier. This is what I can do here. If I go turn on display capture here. Let's see. And then I go to here. So my office plant which is just in this tiny little pot, currently looks like this. Well, not currently, because I took these stalks off. But it's in just this little pot, and it seems like okra doesn't make very many leaves. But yeah, this plant that only has like five or something big leaves made these massive stalks, and I'm not going to be in to work at all next week because I'm going to be visiting family for the first half of the week and then at Fragapalooza for the second half of the week. So I harvested the stalks today, and I'll harvest the ones from my garden in the next couple of days, the ones that are ready, and probably cut it up and fry it up, is what I think I'm going to do, is my plan. So, yeah, there's uh, there's that. So now I just have, like, some okra stalks there. Um, These aren't things that I want to do. I guess I don't need my phone open anymore now. Just need to send myself those pictures. Is there the seafood full course today? But yeah, they look really awesome. It's my first time ever picking okra, so, like, I had to Google, like, what's the right way to do this? And apparently it's cutting them off, so I grabbed some scissors from my desk and <laughs> just cut them off. And 
yeah, we'll see if the plant starts developing some new ones by the time that I'm back again in a couple weeks. We shall see. But yeah, let's see here. And, uh, never seen Gravity Falls? I have not. The one you made was trash, but you were covered afterwards, Guzba. Axolotl is meant to be said as the individual letters, and also we were talking about the Book of Bill and also Gravity Falls. Okay. This may wanted to give you some from the restaurant, but they couldn't get any delivered because it was all being purchased for the Jazz Fest. Yeah, when I was visiting there and the Jazz Fest was going on, <laughs> there was basically no okra available in town because the Jazz Fest was buying it all. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, I've I've not seen it before. You gonna try fried okra? It's said because you grew up in Louisiana. Shame. Watch Gravity Falls now. Okay. Bye. No. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, yeah, this is a thing that I can do. All right, let's eat seafood, just like I did at the restaurant that Guzmo was working at. That I could not eat fried okra at, but I did have a really good flounder there. Sweet. I'm smarter. Hopefully that flounder I ate in Louisiana made me smarter too. But who knows?